Welcome back to Crux Stationalis. Today we head to the Roman Station Church of San Lorenzo in Lucina. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And when you're done watching, share it with your family and friends. The Church of San Lorenzo in Lucina is presently closed. The ceiling in the nave suffered some damage. I was able, however, to get some up-close and exclusive shots of the sanctuary and the high altar piece. And so today, I present to you a reflection on the altar piece painted by Guido Reni of the Crucifixion. One is typically able to stand in the piazza and look into the main doors of the church and see the high altarpiece, the crucifixion painted by Guido Reni. We see the crucified spans the entire width of the picture with his arms stretched upwards, followed by his head crowned with thorns and surrounded by a nimbus which turns imploringly with a heavenly gaze and slightly open mouth towards the open sky, from which a transfiguring light shines upon the crucified. The longitudinal axis of his cross, on the other hand, determines the center of the dramatic composition and creates a calm counterpoint that lends the action of remarkable sublimity. The gray-blue sky highlights the radiant body of the crucified. The traces of the passion that preceded the event are no longer visible. Here, the moments of transfiguration, crucifixion, and resurrection are almost already captured in the decisive moment when the Lord returns his spirit into the hands of the Father and thus completes the atonement of his life. The painting by the Baroque painter Guido Reni, created in 1640 and located in the church of San Lorenzo in Lucina in Rome, creates a connection to the events of the Eucharist like hardly any other altarpiece. The innermost core of this holy sacrificial celebration is the mystery of redemption. What is divine about this celebration is the mysterious realization of the sacrifice of the cross. Christ's Death is the unique and true sacrifice of all humanity before God. The skull at the foot of the cross in Rennie's altarpiece stands for this, the sacrifice of the greatest worship of God, of atonement, of petition, of redemption. The death of the one who gave himself for all humanity. This is the only great immaculate sacrifice before God. And it is in this one sacrifice that the love of God and the worship of God of all times is resolved. It is from this sacrificial blood that all our prayers and achievements first receive their power before God. And it is through this blood that we pray to God, this blood which calls to heaven more loudly and more perfect than the blood of Abel. Hardly can this groaning of all creation awaiting redemption be expressed better than by the Lord's pleading gaze on the cross, surrendering completely to the Father's will. His body becomes true food for us, but not in a crude sense. Already in his sermon on the Eucharist in Capernaum, the Lord referred to his transfiguration, to his going home to the Father. And in this way, Rennie's body of the Lord shines as in the transfiguration although he is sacrificing himself for us on the cross. In Holy Communion we receive this body not in this tangible, invisible form, but in its transfigured form, its glorified form, which no longer has anything to do with the dimensions of space and time, nothing to do with the laws of physics and anatomy, physiology and spatial theory. One does not eat his body in a merely carnal way but according to its spiritual human reality. When Christ the Lord says that it is the Spirit who works life, this makes it clear that the words, my flesh and my blood, mean a real participation in his life and death 
as true, as real, as he gave himself in flesh and blood on the cross, but in a mystical, real communication of his transfigured being. The mystery of faith, as the liturgy calls it, conceals under sensorial signs the heavenly communication of Christ, which faith, only faith, comprehends. Thank you for joining us today at Crux Stationalis. I look forward to seeing you at our next Roman Station Church.